Okay, welcome. So in this example, what they're asking us to do is to be able to find the missing value of our um, triangle. Now, first of all, you know, when we're looking at triangles and we look at this and we say, all right, the main important thing is I want to see, I can find the value of a side if I know, um, by using Pythagorean theorem, if I know it's a right triangle. And the only way to determine if a right triangle is if I have a nice 90 degree symbol or I have one of these lovely boxes that's telling me it's 90 degrees. Now, just because we don't have a triangle that's written in this kind of standard form that we like, doesn't mean we can't be able to figure out what each one of these sides are. Because remember, when dealing with a right triangle, the hypotenuse, which is the value of c, is directly across from our uh, 90 degree symbol. So therefore, if I draw an arrow at the end of my 90 degree, I can see that 5 is going to be my c. Then a and b are just going to be the two legs that connect to make your 90 degree symbol. And therefore, it doesn't matter either or which one we use for them. So I'll say a will be 2 and b will be x. Now remember, by applying the Pythagorean theorem, what we can say is, remember, the Pythagorean theorem states a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So therefore, by plugging in values for a, b, and c, a is 2 squared plus b squared, which is x squared, plus c or equals c squared, which is 5 squared. Now I just need to evaluate. So I have 4 plus x squared equals 25. Then I subtract the 4, subtract the 4. x squared equals 21. Now to solve for x, I take the square root of both sides. And x equals the square root of 21. Now until we get into approximating the square roots or simplifying square roots, I'm just going to have us leave our answer at the square root of 21 and not try to approximate win with the decimal. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a square root or a Solve a triangle by using the Pythagorean theorem. Thanks.